Okay, hello, hello. Uh, I just want to run through some of the settings that I think you should set up um, before you really get rolling. And so uh, one of the things I want to start with is that I did, when I was first using Financial Sense, have more email notifications set up just until I built trust and um, understood how the system was working. But now that I've been rolling in Financial Sense for a while, I don't have email notifications. I make it um, a habit of mine to come in here and check my notifications within Financial Sense rather than having them push through to my email. There's a couple of exceptions, of course. And so um, these are the things that I want to see in app. And so basically, I want to see everything that goes on in there. But I only want to see when a client sends me a message in the client chat. So that one and also uh, when they comment on a client request. This is especially useful when I am traveling. So I do come in and change these when I'm traveling so that more notifications are coming into my email. But 90% of the work is done with Marissa anyways. Really all I want is to be able to see when the client is chatting with us or doing things. And then Marissa does client work on Tuesdays. So I have the progress report on Wednesdays. So I am updated on it. So I could change that. So that was great. Um, in here, make sure that you've got your company logo and that you are branding the URL for yourself. This is going to be especially important as more changes are coming that improve the client portal. And then these are the automations that I want to have on them. And so um, those are all set. And then this is where you can change the storage. So I did change it to Canada. Anything that you had previous stored in Financial Sense will stay where it was. But now you can change it. And anything moving forward, the data is going to be stored in Canada. So that's a cool new feature. Um, this is where your integrations are. This is where your service items are. I'm not going to show you because my QuickBooks is a hot mess for service items, and I'm embarrassed that I haven't cleaned it up in here. This is the API settings. That is if you need an API key for other um, applications. And then this is the client task one. I want to make sure that this is going out when I want it to go out. So I want it to go out at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Toronto Standard Time so that it hits their inbox at a meaningful time, not later in the day or not too early in the morning. I want it to rise to the top of their morning email. So there you go. That's setting in financial sense. Thanks.